and welcome to Haunted Hearst. Ever since its opening in 1926, Mercyhurst College in Erie, Pennsylvania has been the center of a lot of student activities almost every day of the year. But just like other places in Erie County, it also has a lot of ghost stories to tell. The campus of Mercyhurst College is known as one of the most beautiful college campuses in Erie County. Founded by the Sisters of Mercy in 1926, the college sits on top of a hill overlooking Lake Erie in the southeast of the city of Erie. Despite its beauty, however, Mercyhurst is reportedly home of at least four restless ghosts. The most famous of these stories is the Haunted Ring, which is said to have happened in Old Maine. The story is about a young woman who attended the college many years ago. She was engaged to a young man from a school nearby, but before the marriage, he had to leave to fight in the war in Europe. Some months later, news of her fiancé's death reached the girl. She became so sad that she decided to join the Order of the Sisters of Mercy, believing she could never love another man for the rest of her life. Then she put the engagement ring on the finger of a statue in the college chapel. Some months later, the young man returned from the war, alive. The news of his death had been wrong. The vows that the young woman had already taken could not be reversed and so he left her forever. She became so depressed that she killed herself in O'Neill Tower. After the sister's death, the ring has remained on the statue's finger, but some time later, a young student took it off and put it on her own finger. The very same day, her boyfriend died in a horrible car accident. The ring disappeared, never to be found again. Can the building really be haunted? Or are the noises the students repeatedly heard just the noises of an old building? But what about the reports of sightings of a misty figure of a nun sitting in the chapel, disappearing into thin air? A team of volunteers and a Catholic spiritual medium went into Old Main and the chapel at night to find out more. Before the group entered the chapel, Catholic medium Peggy Rogers prepared the volunteers about what they might experience and invited them to pray to ask for God's protection. I communicate with spirit. That's what makes a medium different than a psychic, where a psychic will kind of play its uh, mind to mind. Um, they, they pick up on your mental energy and your emotional energy and read off of that. Mediums get all our information from um, our spirit guides and the, and the loved ones around us. And everything we do, we do um, with God's blessing and God's love. Then the lights were turned off. Do you feel anything right now? When I first walked in, there's a, there's an old priest that's or a, or, or um, a bishop who was sitting back in that last pew back there, and he had that bishop hat on. Did you see his face? Um, he was yeah he was uh, he well, he looked old to me. He was showing him uh, himself to me as when he was older, and his nose was rather large, and um, he looked pale. So I don't know if he was fair complected. I, I, he probably was fair complected when he uh, was younger but his hair was gray and very short, and he had that hat on, and um, he wasn't a real big man. Do you think he has a connection with Mercerist, or he had a connection? He, yeah, he may have had a, yeah, he may have had a connection here, uh, really early on. It does get colder mm -hmm. here. Right about where you are, Nadine. Yeah. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. I don't feel uh, anybody, any particular energy, uh, male or female energy here, but it, it definitely is cooler here. And there's a little bit of a breeze. Well, the windows are open too, but, yeah. um, but I don't think that's it. I think it's just, uh, just cooler. Despite some temperature changes, the group didn't experience anything unusual. However, when the film crew watched what had been taped, they found two orbs floating through the picture. Well, orbs are, uh, are definitely um, the presence of spirit um, in the room uh, when, you, when we take pictures. And um, they only show up on camera. We are limited by our senses, by our eyes, and what we can see a lot of times. And orbs seem to, be, seem to vibrate a little higher 
even than a, a, like a normal spirit guide or a loved one who may be there or a lingering spirit who might be around. So they, there's, it's very possible that they could be angels. And because angels vibrate um, a little faster, their frequency is a little faster than ours, it would be almost impossible for us to see them with the eye, although the camera could pick it up. After about an hour with no significant activity, the group left the chapel. However, some people reported they felt something that surprised them. It was just temperature changes. Um, the one confessional in the back, it definitely got to me. Uh, same with another, Rob, he was there too. I don't know why. Check it out yourself. <laughs> what did you think you saw in there? Oh, you don't think we saw that. It just feels like something's there. Yeah. Feels like something's there. Does it feel like it feels like something's watching you through there? Oh, yeah? Does it feel like it's male or female? No, I don't know. You don't know? I would say male. It was more of a feeling than anything else. It was like an intuition or a gut feeling. Um, but definitely when, whenever we'd open the door, like you just feel like a rush of cool air. I don't know how it came or whatever, but uh, when you walked in, you just you got this feeling like I shouldn't be standing in this room because who knows what could happen. But if we'd go check on it after a little while, we wouldn't be there. And then um, so I, we left the chapel, and then when we came back, it was still there. And sometimes it's just hard to get um, the spirits to cooperate with you, um, even though we are always in charge of them. And they were, there definitely were energies around there because of the experiences that some of the people had. Um, they were definitely were there. Um, I think that maybe their, uh, the excitement and maybe a little bit of fear of the participants maybe might have blocked um, some other experiences that other people had. But there definitely was a lot of energy in there, especially around the crypt. Um, it could feel like there, may, there were probably par prayer circles um, for healing, and there was probably a lot of healing that was done um, as a result of those prayer circles.